Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog, potentially, in fact no, definitely the last vlog before Christmas now. So, today is Thursday the 19th. As I mentioned in the end of my vlog yesterday, if you watched that, all of my friends are now home from uni, so that means that the next couple of days, and basically between now and Christmas, I'm seeing them quite a lot. And tonight we're actually going on like a Christmassy night out, we're going clubbing. I think most of us are coming, I think there's about 10 of us. So my day is basically not preparing for that, but like I need to wash my hair, have a shower, do all of the stuff before you go on a night out. I've actually been to the gym this morning, I didn't see any point in filming that just because I filmed a gym workout yesterday that is going up early January while I'm in Australia. Australia. Um, plus also it's quite repetitive. That is where my day is at. I have a lot of work and editing stuff to do before that but I'm thinking of also maybe decorating a gingerbread house because I know we have a gingerbread house and nobody's decorated it yet and it's five days till Christmas. We'll see how the work situation goes but that is my plan for today. Uh, don't have much else to update you on. We'll just see where the day goes, where the vlog heads but it's just so nice having all my school friends back. If you haven't watched my vlog yesterday I recommend you do. We had a movie night. Um, it was quite Christmassy very festive um, my issue now at the moment is I'm stressing about what to wear tonight because I don't really know what I want to wear plus it's absolutely freezing cold and, and it doesn't it doesn't bode well with a night out because night out outfits generally aren't that covered up but I also know I'm going to be queuing to get in and it's freezing so yeah So I have just straightened my hair. Super annoying thing about my hair is because it's so curly, well, it's not even really curly because it's really frizzy. If I want to curl it with curlers, I have to straighten it first and I think I want to curl it tonight. So I've had to straighten it now and then in like five hours when I'm going out, I will curl it. In fact, it's actually more like four hours. I don't even know where today has gone. Do you know in winter when the days just disappear? If you get up at 9 a.m., you have about five hours of daylight and then that's it. Um, but yeah, hair is straight. My brother's just got in from school. Um, I still don't really know what I'm going to wear tonight. I haven't decided on that. But I have actually got loads done. I edited, well, I edited one video, uploaded two videos, made two thumbnails, um, sent off my brand deal that I did this morning and yesterday morning. And yeah, I've just had a really productive like afternoon. It's currently half past three. Still try and get some more stuff done, basically. But that is where I'm at at the minute. Um, don't know how the gingerbread house is going to go, but yeah, hair straight, so at least that's one thing that's a good thing. So I did show this over on my Instagram story, but I just thought that I would put it in the vlog as well, because basically there's a lovely girl called Izzy who followed me on Instagram, and she told me about the company she runs called O Pooches. I keep saying O Pooches, or Pooches. Basically, they have the app or pooches and she basically makes bestoke dog stuff so like I think it's dogs she maybe just cats as well um, but she's kindly gifted me this delivery for Lottie so it's all Christmas themed with a little Christmas sack that says Lottie's Christmas presents and then some really really lovely bits there's a collar there's two little like neckerchief things which I think are so cute there's a Grinch one and then a gingerbread man one and then this little bow which I would love to get her to wear I hope she will wear it and um, she'll definitely wear these because she loves having things on it's really strange most dogs hate wearing but Lottie loves it and then there's two dog biscuits as well I just think it's so lovely so thank you so much if you have a pet and you want anything like custom made or anything a little bit different to what you can get in shops definitely check out her Instagram app guys we are actually gonna make the gingerbread house I have roped Harry into it I want. he doesn't look best please but it's actually tiny look at the size of this I've never done a gingerbread house so small but last year when I did this at uni guys if you remember that video it was so funny me and my flatmates made a gingerbread house but it totally all collapsed which to be honest will probably happen with this one because because it always does gingerbread houses never stay upright but we're gonna attempt to make it look like that do you reckon we can make it look like that not a chance mm -hmm. this is so tidy look at that the pieces are so small also the icing's in this bag but it's like a solid is this even in date Blown when did mum so. get this did she buy this last year this was 1972 she was like what eight months old when she mm. bought it well there's no date so let's just hope it's in it's here also then. already cracked for real the improvement to make your daughter crack I apologize to you. Guys, they're already cracked. What chance do we stand when the gingerbread's already broken? I didn't eat it. What have you at? Hey, you know what? We could have stuck it back together. Here are all the pieces. Here is the icing. Here you go. You can you need to rip that and turn it into like a nozzle. Yeah, you know when you like ice something and it's gone. I thought back. we were just gonna get a brush. I thought a brush would work. A better. brush? Yeah, and then you brush the sides. No, that definitely wouldn't work. What kind of brush? You mean it work? What kind of brush? Like a makeup brush? No, like a, a cooking brush. We don't have a cooking brush. Also, it's solid. There's no way you'll get that on a brush. Turns out we need to massage the icing bag for two minutes to get it to be warm and consistent. So wait, these are the two roof pieces. No, they're not the roofs. Yeah, they are. They are. Are they? Let's put pick them up. It's like 
It's like a curved roof like that. They're never gonna stay. They are never gonna stay on there. No way. And then... What's the back? What's that then? Why is there just That's one big the bottom. one? There's no bottom. Yeah, there is. It's the garden. <gasps> Really? Yeah, wow. Oh, so it doesn't matter that we broke it. My God, that's going to be so small. This is the smallest gingerbread house in the world. I thought it was going to be like a, like a full-size normal one. It's a midget. Two minutes. I feel like it's been two minutes. Is it malleable it's yet? Ten. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Right, probably. let's go. What are we starting with? Because that, that depends. Shall we ice the whole well, base need... first? Mm, we don't want to waste the icing though, yeah, do we? Um, right, we're gonna ice. We're starting by icing this, guys. I don't know why I'm trusting you to do this. Have you ever iced anything ever? Yes, my cake in food tech. Huh? <laughs> How's it going for you? See, this is where it doesn't stick to the gingerbread. Oh, you're doing okay. Oh, it looks a bit of a minging colour. Why is it grey? Just tried the icing. It's absolutely gross. Will not be eating this. Well, no, they're the roofs. They're the roofs. These are the front and the back. So we need to decide where the front and the back is. Yeah, I reckon there. Yeah, stick it down like glue. Tastes a bit like glue as well. Guys, it's standing up. We've actually managed to get it stood so up. So this, this. Yeah, we need the tiny sides. This is the smallest gingerbread house I have ever seen. No wonder nobody manages to make them. In this one, it's so fiddly. Oh, wait, stop. Take it out. You need to ice down the sides so it sticks to each other. Okay, that's enough. You're wasting it. It's on me. My hands are so sticky. My camera is so sticky. This is a mistake. Okay, it is stuck together. I'm very surprised. We're putting the little balls on the roof before we stick it on because we figured if we try to do it after, there is no way that they will, like, we'll just tip it up the dogs come to see what we're doing hi it's just not going too well for us right it's now fine. don't use it all the hurry because we do still need to stick it together and there's definitely not enough on I there know. No, no. put a little bit more on here it just looks such a mess is this an improvement i'm not sure although sticking them on by hand is going to take ages we need to get them like properly indented in why don't you lay them on the thing turn that upside down that's what harry literally, literally, just, literally just did just... it might not look like the one on the picture but it's the effort this time Yeah, I've done good here. Perfect. I feel like we need to ice down the middle so that they join together. Push it up a bit higher, there's a gap. The roof will leak, it will rain. Harry is done. Smashed Can it. we have the big reveal? Please turn right. the gingerbread house around. This is my side, and this. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, okay. It's Harry's side. Comment down below who you think wins. <laughs> This actually took literally about 15 minutes and it looks awful I and it tastes it. awful. Harry was dedicated to the cause though. Already, can I smash it? No, I you can't smash it. No, 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 no. Bit of a difference, guys. I am now ready to go out. I've got this little clip in. I probably will end up taking it out though because it does tend to slip. It's really annoying. I don't really know why it doesn't grip my hair very well. I paid like £12 from Topshop for it as well, so that's a bit annoying. But I am ready for my night out. The funniest thing ever has happened. Earlier in the day, as a joke, as a lit literal joke it took us 30 seconds me and my dad filmed a tiktok i'm cringing as well don't worry anyway i uploaded it to tiktok and it is just popping off like it's on like 20,000 views and it's been up for like a couple of hours and i have like 600 tiktok followers i don't even know what's going on it's quite funny it's quite amusing it's a tiny bit embarrassing because i can't dance to save my life it was like a joke Anyway, <laughs> Tom is about to arrive and we are going to my friend Izzy and Talek's house for pre-drinks. I really don't know how much I'll film tonight. I'm not going to bring my camera, but I will bring my phone as always on a night out. There's just no point. Like, my phone is decent quality and I don't want to risk damaging the camera. My phone is a bit more sturdy. It will survive. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm wearing this little crop top and these, like, leather look trousers. And yeah, this is from Misguided and these are from I Saw It First. And I'm a big fan of both. <laughs> Hello guys, <laughs> it is now 3pm the next day and I am still in my pyjamas. <laughs> That's because I just haven't needed to get ready and I didn't wake up until 11am because I was out until 3 and 
didn't feel great. But it's fine, I'm all good now. I have been editing for the last couple of hours. We actually had some family round. Bit embarrassing, I was just sitting here in my pajamas. Um, <laughs> looking like this, but it's fine. Um, in like 45 minutes, Erin and Tom are actually coming around because we're gonna film a video together. Um, as I said in the vlog yesterday, if you watched that, I've been pre-recording a lot of stuff for while I'm in Australia, and one of the videos is with both Tom and Erin, which should be really, really nice, actually. Um, so they're gonna come over, and then this evening I'm actually going out for dinner with Erin as well, with her mum and with my mum, so that'll be super nice. But I've just spent my day sitting right here in this exact spot, editing feeling very cozy very festive it feels like christmas has properly started um because like harry's broken up from school now my dad's off work there's just like like i haven't moved from the sofa and i'm in my pajamas it feels like it just feels like christmas uh, which is nice but yeah i need to go and get ready i need a shower i need to get actual clothes on so that i can film a video um but yeah i just thought i'd start the vlog and say that i haven't moved and it's 3 p.m and that is fine Guys, it's been ages. Well, actually, it hasn't. I'm with Erin, who is here. Um, I look considerably different. And we've come into Beverly, which is manic. Totally forgot it was like Mad Friday. Um, and we're going for a meal at Ask now. I think I already said that. Basically, we're all going. Erin's mum's meeting us here um, for like dinner, basically. I'm very excited. I'm so hungry. So Cannot hungry. wait. It looks so funny from here. It looks like a hand sticking out of it, like fingers <laughs> sticking out of it. We've just got in and Lottie's brought us the slipper to let us know that we've all entered the house and the slipper's in her mouth and I don't know why she does this but she does this every single time. It's for me. Somebody comes thank in. Thank you. <laughs> but then she doesn't let go of it. Thank you, let go then. We are currently watching the Santa Claus and this is my view. A very squash looking dog. She just looks steamrolled. Also guys, I love the Santa Claus. This is one of my favourite Christmas films and I always forget about it. Oh. Lottie likes it too, clearly. Oh, okay. It is now Saturday, guys. We watched The Santa Claus. I went to bed and it's now Saturday morning. Um, and I wanted to show you some deliveries I actually got yesterday. I just never got around to showing them. They are so, so lovely. Look at these guys. This is the first one. It actually arrived from Harvey Nicks, which is just insane, just crazy. Um, and they kindly sent me this bottle of Prosecco. It's like their own Harvey Nichols Prosecco. I really didn't even know that they did this. But it was such, such, such a nice gift. And basically, they just sent it as a Christmas like present to say thank you for working with them in the past year which is so nice because I actually haven't even worked with them that much so Harvey Nicks if you're watching thank you so much for that the team there are so lovely and the one in Leeds is always so so welcoming and then this delivery came probably about half an hour before and it had the most gorgeous bow on it I've actually taken it off now because I've already opened it um, but this came from John Frieda in the style of Love Actually so Love Actually is one of my favorite films of all time Ever. I absolutely love it. I think the cast is the most incredible cast of any film that's ever been made. And this is a story of Frizz actually, and it's so pretty. I love this so much. Basically, in this parcel here, there's all of the cards, and you have to read them like in order, starting with the first one. So if you've seen the film, you'll know the scene where Kieran Knightley stood in her doorway and he's reading the cards in order. It's like a really famous scene from the film. And anyway, the basically their PR launch is done like that in these cards, and it's for this product here which is their frizzies weightless wonder feather light smoothing cream which if you know me is amazing because i have the frizziest hair of any frizzy hair i've ever seen so thank you so much to john frida for this and it's such thoughtful punny pr i love it it's amazing i love love actually and inside here as well i forgot to mention is a five pound amazon gift card which i just think is so nice and they've said on the voucher saying use me to enjoy your favorite christmas film with five pounds amazon credit so thank you so much to the john frida team that is so thoughtful and kind. I am now in my office. It's Saturday today. I don't know if I mentioned that. Although every day has felt like Saturday for the last couple of days because everybody's off work in school now. But I thought that I would just catch up on my advent calendars because... Ugh, chair. I haven't done them in a while. I'm the worst at keeping on top of advent calendars. Every year I open an advent calendar on December the 1st and then I forget every day for the rest of December and I do them in like bulk. So I think I have probably about eight days. <laughs> whoops to open so i'm gonna open them all and then show you what i got in both my glossy box one and my body shop one so out of the glossy box calendar this is what i got basically this is a lip balm this is a toothpaste this is a body cream blusher highlighter stick which i'm really excited about that looks cool and then i'm not too sure what this is i, I want to say it's deodorant but i'm not too sure and then this here is a hydrating face cream like a day cream so thank you so much to glossy box i say this all the time but they're one of my favorite companies 
companies. I've worked with them all year and I've just loved working with them and their calendar has not disappointed. And then in the Body Shop advent calendar, also love it. Um, there's some really, really lovely stuff. They have one of their body yogurts, which is my favorite product that the Body Shop have ever brought out. These are like moisturizers for your skin, but for lazy people, they dry really quickly. They're easy to apply. I love them. Then also got a white musk perfume. And then I got this, I'm not too sure what this is actually. It's like Japanese Camila cream. Um, but it looks really nice. It says relaxing ritual and it's in a gorgeous little pot. I've then got this rose dewy glow face mist. This oils of life day cream. I think this is a day cream. It looks like it'd be amazing for your skin. There's then this little eyeshadow brush and then this red liquid lipstick. So yeah, I feel like it's Christmas day. There's so many good products here. Also, an amazing thing about these calendars is a lot of the products are travel size. So if you look at like, this is a little highlighter, but it's tiny. I've got like tiny little toothpaste. Things like this are gonna be incredible for my trip to Australia because the amount of things I'm gonna have to fit in a bag that's not very big. In fact, it's actually behind me, the bag I'm taking to Australia, it's here. Um, it's like a hold all bag, but it is a suitcase as well, but you can pick it up like a backpack. It's very, very multi-use, um, but I'm gonna have to fit so much in it. So the smaller the products that are cosmetics, the better really, because I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of makeup. I'm not gonna be needing a lot of stuff like that. So if I could just bring little versions. So yeah, loving opening these calendars and I'll hopefully remember to do them every day between now and Christmas. So there is actually only four more days, which is crazy. I just don't know where December has gone. I don't know where this year has gone. Like how is it 2020? in like nine days. Ah, wow, that's scary. Lottie, what's this? Oh, we're out on a dog walk, even though it's dark. I also didn't bring my camera, but. Top class vlogger. Top class vlogger. It does feel festive. Are we gonna walk her on Christmas day? I mean, like early in the morning, are we gonna walk right. her? Lottie. I don't remember the walk we did last year. I was trying to remember it the other day with mum. This has been the bittiest vlog ever, but this evening my parents actually went out. Um, so Harry and I have just been in by ourselves. So we watched the whole of the holiday, which I really thought I had seen recently. I was like, yeah, I love this film. I know this film. I was completely muddling it off with the film Just Go With It, which is the Jennifer Aniston one. And I was like, yeah, this is familiar. And then as the film went on, I was like, I haven't seen this film. So Harry would seen it before quite a few times, hadn't you? I have, yes. And you I like it. Good. Really, really good film. And I had seen bits of it. Obviously, it's really famous. But I think I was about 12 and I watched it at a sleepover. So I didn't have any recollection of the storyline. So I now have a newfound love for a young Jude Law because but basically, I'm sorry this vlogmas is so all over the place, so bitty, so random, a little bit of everything and also a lot of nothing. Sorry about that. I'm gonna end this here. I will probably be back on Tuesday, which is Christmas Eve, with a video, but if I'm not, it's just because I'm quite busy and also I don't really have that much time to film and edit another video before Tuesday, but I'm gonna try. So there might be a video Tuesday night. There might not. Uh, subscribe if you're new. If not, I will definitely be back on Thursday with my classic What I Got For Christmas. Lossie's just come in, she's so loud on the floor with her little claws. But other than that, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.